Another morning. Another morning, another hunt. You got a lunch. Kinda kinda foggy this morning. Yeah. Gotta get going. Yo! What up y'all and welcome back to another one. We got a huge spread today. Uh, eight clients in, a special guest Cole Towns, and if you don't know who he, who he is, go be hunting with us today. Me, Gerald P. Diddy, you ready to roll? I'm ready to roll. Uh, big spread, full bodies and socks. Big dark spread, laying in it. That's why I'm wearing the old ducks black hoodie. Check out that ducks vest, the ducks hat. If you guys want to pick up anything, use code Bob at checkout. Save yourself some jack. So I know some of you guys have hunted like this before, some have not. So it's real important whenever we're working, there's gonna be, I'm sure Cole's calling too, so I'm sure there's gonna be three of us calling today. Uh, when we're working birds, just stay stay quiet, stay low, don't move very much. Um, <clears throat> don't shoot till we call the shot. Keep your guns on safety. So the guys on the ends, they can swing to the outsides. All right, everybody else down here, keep it like this. You know, don't be swinging over people or anything like that. You're gonna piss your neighbor off, they're gonna punch you in the face. So. Uh, other than that, we have a dog, so after we shoot, go ahead and keep your guns up. Don't load them back up. We'll tell you if we say, you know, reload and get back down real quick, go ahead and reload and get back down. Other than that, just stay down. Wait for me to call the shot. Um, anybody have any questions or anything? No? Good talk. Shoot him, guys. Shoot him on the left. Nice, nice shot. shot. You're good, man. Shoot him, guys. Stay, stay, stay. Shoot him, guys. Stay, stay, stay. Well, we have some ducks down. We got a widgeon. Oh, yeah. We got one, two mallards, three mallards. Yeah. Good looking ducks. I will show you this, these greenies here in a little bit. Actually, I'll show you right now because G wagon's up. Here we are. This is the setup. Um, my seat, I'm not shooting obviously. Archer and G wagon. Preston filming all the way in the back. And then we got Cole on the end and everybody in front of us with a big old spread out front. That's a good looking mallard. Yeah. Good looking mallard. Young bird? I think so. He's a big bird. Oh, little curls for the girls. for the girls. Good up, guys. Nice. One more. Good shooting. Coming back. Got them both. Two out in front. It's heating up. Shoot him, guys. Nice. nice shooting, boy. There we go. A little less calling. These pair are liking it. Here we go. Shoot him, guys. Nice, nice shooting, boys. Stay. Stay. Heel. Heel, heel. Oh, he's ready to rip. Oh, Arch Daddy. He is ready to rip and more. There we go. That pair liked it. We got some ducks flying over the trees outright. There we go. Had to back off the calling just a little bit when they get weary, and then they ended up liking it even better, so it worked. What you got? Little guy, itty bitty little guy. Little head. Big cheek patch. So oh, arch steady. Here comes the ducks. <laughs> All right, I'm getting back. He got caught. <laughs> Some decoys. Their favorite in this side, we need to pull them across. Are they coming? Oh, it's a rush, boys. 
Here we go. Hectic, here we go. We should start firing up here. Good wind today, really good wind. Pop them. Go ahead. Hurry. They're over here. Just walk up. Pop. Shoot. Shoot that, Shoot that one right there in front of you. Shoot him again. You're all right. Worth a shot. Swings and misses. You know. It happens. There we go. That got interesting, boys. <laughs> Archer been wrecking decoys all morning already. Holy. That group was bad. Boy, that was pretty on the left side. They yeah. drugged to this left side, hardcore. That was awesome. Uh, we got Cole here today. Got to say hello to the people at home. Hola, people at home. Hello, hello. Been hunting honkers for too long. That's uh, way better. Way yeah, better. he's been living in the Great White North for yeah. Oh gosh. Oh. Oh. The cone is sideways in that yeah. thing. Yeah. Yes. All right, we got birds. Yeah, you've been in the Great White North for yeah, too long. Been awesome. Welcome back I've been to, the, to the states. Yeah, thank you. Dry, Appreciate dry it. ground. Yeah. <laughs> Is it wet up there at all? Warm weather. No, Probably it wasn't. wasn't. They're gonna drown. Like negative five when I left, so this is. Ooh. Yeah, you drove in. You drove in the ice feet roads the whole yeah, way. That was rough. But this is the high, tall socks laying underneath them. Oh, uh, we got birds coming right here. camera up and going man I've been having so many camera issues whether it's a GoPro or my big Sony constantly constantly this thing don't want to work right my Sony my expensive camera the uh, audio port broke that's great so it's been a camera dilemma for old Bob but what time are we sitting at 816 um, 816 in the a.m. on a Monday morning beautiful morning still just enough wind to jiggle the decoys around uh, a couple things I want to tell you about the podcast over at blind talk podcast on patreon uh, the, my my podcast me and old P Diddy Gerald we're always on there we're always talking smack uh, it's very raw I can be myself over there have a few beverages whatever the case may be we have fun over there go check it out we're giving away a, a conservation snow goose hunt for two lucky people here at Sand Hill Flyways come February. Get in on the giveaway. No birds. No birds. And then I'm gonna show you this bad boy. The old acrylic ducks goose call. Uh-huh, they're in stock. And oh, this one right here. Yes. Delrin duck call. It's my go-to. I love it. Love it. Very affordable. Every here we go. So this is very, very unlike you to be moving so many decoys during a hunt. What? It's just, I'm just saying it's unlike you, man. You're usually telling me to sit down. <laughs> Where you want to go? Okay. okay. It looks good out here. I mean, it's huge. Oh gosh, here. Easy bird, man. Hold on. Go up, up, up over here. Come you want to go way out? Yeah. Holy smokes, Batman. Oh no! 
You done did it now, girl. Uh-oh. Well, you can tell uh, there's a main road beside us. Okay. All right, there we are. We've mixed the spread up a couple times now. Here you go. And hopefully this works, boys. Hopefully we get another flight. Hopefully it's not over with. I think we will. Always got to be positive about it, you know. Smash the thumbs up button. That's a good old big old hunt. Look at the spread. So that's where we set them decoys. She's a hogger today. All dark decoys, no white. Mix of full bodies and socks. No silhouettes. I know a lot of you all have been asking. Yes, been using full bodies on every single hunt, no matter what. Shoot him! Shoot him! <laughs> Lay down. Keep going. <laughs> what do we got going on? Uh, we're trying to make them a kill hole. We didn't really have a, you know, a bear spot, a circled kill hole. Now we do. Um, some of them smaller groups should have just sucked right in here, and we did. We let some land, waiting on the mob. But uh, I think it's our shadow right now. See how dark that yeah. shadow is where we're laying. So we're gonna give them an option to land in these these full bodies, and uh, it'll make it a little more comfier for them. <laughs> Shoot him over top, over the top, over the top. Keep shooting them. Come on. Oh, oh, the last shot got him. Nice. Dang it. Man, they wanted to work back and forth and back and forth. They'd swing on this side, then they'd swing on that side. We've just been swinging all morning out here. Uh -huh. Woof. My mouth, my jaw is numb. Shoot him, guys. Catch that one on the old camera if he did? Did you? Those birds, man, they just worked us forever. They'd bundle up over here and turn, then bundle up over there and turn. They came right over the top, like snow keys. Just like snow keys. I think they're coming to the noise really hard in the quarter day. Really honing in on the noise. We got a really big spread, so. Might kind of be the issue. Not broadcasting noise around, but it shouldn't be a big issue. <laughs> Here we go, we got a little seven pack. Shoot guys! Shoot them! Oh, nice! Steak, steak. That right one got crunched pretty hard. You ain't got it done yet? No, that's quick. <laughs> we got a lot to pick up. Look, it's going pretty fast. Uh, I think we set like, if I had to guess, you say like 20 well 25 dozen full bodies plus 80 dozen maybe 80 dozen total yeah yeah probably 80 dozen total 60 dozen socks ish somewhere around there good to go yeah take a nap yet uh, as soon as i drink this i'm taking it <laughs> All right, all right. You guys have been asking about the pond. And it's a, I don't know, not a bitter subject, I guess. But it really sucks that I cannot hunt it this year. We can hunt it this year, I guess. It's got rainwater in it. 
but it's not full and it's not full enough to where the geese that traffic over my house are gonna land on it really they might but it's just not that large there's more water in it now than there ever has been but a lot of you have been wanting a pond update and been trying to work on it and uh, first of all about the well I was asking y'all remember when it was hot out and we were back here asking them what we should do about the well back here yeah uh, first of all number one thing I uh, I got to get a well permit so I was told by a state state water rights guy basically who's in charge of wells and, and manages all this stuff First of all, I can get a recreational well, which means, recreational means you can hunt over it, you can use the water for whatever you need to. The reason I can get a recreational well, number one, is because it's not big enough to kind of go into the next category of things. And the other reason is because I'm a guide service and because it's on my property. So I bring in uh, non-residents, uh, bringing in tax money, bringing in revenue. Uh, for that reason, I am allowed to get a recreational well permit. Now, there's a lot that goes with the well, recreational well permit. Um, number one, it takes up to, can take up to eight months to get approved. Uh, number two, you gotta give them the geographic location of where the well's gonna be, da da da, and then you have to have a surveyor come out. So, long story short, the pond's done. Check it out. Pond's dug. Everything. The only thing I haven't done is planted. I need to plant something. I do need your guys' help down in the comments. Drop a comment down. What should me and P. Diddy plant in here? I've been told uh, rye. I heard rye is a good one to plant and then it's a good cover crop and then you plant like wild wild grass on top of that uh, I've thought about doing some Milo thought about doing some I don't know kind of want some cattails in here too man. yeah you know what we need to put some cattails in here or something drop a comment down below if you have planted a pond very sandy soil uh, we do have a good clay layer on the top though stuff should grow decently so it's a big area it's a big area we got the pit blind. Y'all have been asking about it. We can hunt this. I mean, we can hunt it. Yeah. I just haven't seen a duck on it yet. I know. <laughs> if it would be fun one morning if there's a day off and there just happened to be three ducks on it and try. You know what we need to come do? Come out and hunt them. You, you know what we should do? Just send it. One day, come out here, make a video, cook breakfast in the pit blind, <laughs> like idiots for no reason because there's That'd no be birds. Fun. You know what I mean? Yeah. If you guys want to see us get in there, have a morning. We'll have our guns ready to go. It's enough water for ducks. It's just our fly line is geese, and yeah. there's no food here. There's no reason that they'd want to just sit on a sandy pit. Set a couple full body geese and see what happens. Yeah, it'd be nice. You wouldn't have to get up till like 30 minutes before shooting light. Yeah, walk right out the back door. That'd be a Sunday morning deal or something. I know we should try it. But drop a comment down below. What should I plant? What's the best thing to plant? Obviously, we're gonna plant to the edge. The, the high water edge which is pretty much right here you can see it uh, what should we plant when I do get a well it's gonna be full it'll go all the way up to that bank and wrap around this it'll be perfect for the old pit blind she's staying is a lot of sand in there yeah oh a bunch yeah. blew in there yeah we had a lot of wind the other day I was worried about that we're gonna have to get the old vacuum in there but you guys have been asking about the pit blind in the pond unfortunately this is not something that uh, can just happen overnight. You know, it's, this, is a, this is a couple year project, honestly, to get it planted, to get it looking normal, to, to get it to where geese will actually like it, you know. So there's my statement, I'm sticking to it. Gotta wait on the well permit. So I, I was thrilled that uh, I was able to get a recreational uh, well because to my knowledge if I had put a well on this I wouldn't be able to hunt it that's what I knew so I think long story short it's always good to just call and ask make sure you're legal make sure you're make sure you're legal in what you're doing first of all um, I had somebody that 
watch that video, and I haven't told you guys this, watch that video that day, you know about it, mm -hmm. and turn, quote, turn me in, not, not like bad, I think it was somebody the guy knew that watched my videos, stated that I was putting a well in and didn't have a permit. I'm not putting it, I never, I've never even had a well service come out and Look survey it. it or anything, or even test dig, nothing. Yeah. And we talked about it a bunch before we were going to do anything, obviously. We needed to figure out what the right thing to do was. Right. But it's holding water pretty well. No, I mean, no, it's, it really it's been is. at that level for a long time. Yeah, it has not lost a darn thing. It's only gotten more and more and more. If we just keep getting rain, she might fill up. But there's the info. Uh, I appreciate you guys being concerned and wondering what's going on back here uh, without you guys being here me and Pete Eddie, all of us, to lodge all of this opportunity that I get to do every day and bring you guys along for the ride, it wouldn't happen. So thank you guys so, so much. I, I, I've always thanked you and, and I never will stop, that's for sure. Subscribe if you haven't. If you haven't checked out our podcast, go over there. It's always linked down in the description below. Uh, we are very raw over there. We get to talk about things that we can't overhear. So go check it out. It's fun. I uh, have not had one complaint over there. Last, last night was a good one, too. Yeah, we had uh, our buddy Cole on it. Yep, and he was just up in Canada for two and a half months and gave us a lot of migration updates and his predictions because he's been going up there for like the last three years. Right. How the, this year is different from the last two. Right. Got a lot of good info. But until next time.